Today is a special day. Why today is a special day? Because today I'm leaving the customer. What it means to leave the customer. So here is how it goes. So when I develop new system or new module or something significant, I always like to see how customer use it, right? So in my last video, I explained you, I uh, designed some significant module to existing system and we deployed to the production, okay? So now, uh, and that day I explained, I was at the customer place. What I've done, I wait two weeks. I, I went there for two weeks. So there are a few benefits by doing so. Number one, customer sees you're responsible for what you have done. That's why you fearlessly appear in front of them when it go live because you know what you did and you have confidence about it. So customer knows you're confident. So then they also build a confidence over that because whoever built it is here. So that means we have someone to go to. Number two, users are usually uh, fear to change. Why? Because they think like they're scared that to lose in their job. They're scared to do a mistake. They're scared to do a mistake and get highlighted. There are so many things, right? By nature, humans are resistant to change. That is that is how it is always and always been. So now the problem is you put a new module. So they use your system for like maybe a year. And now they're thinking, okay, we need to relearn it. They have a kind of a default feeling that this system may have bugs. Because the new implementation, it may have bugs. Right? So that is that their default feeling. So now what happens is, you are there, they know you built it and you are there, so they are not fear anymore. They don't have the fear anymore. Why? They have a person to go. If they have any problem, they know who built it is there so they can they have a go-to person, right? So therefore users have a huge confidence and huge favor to work on the system. Number three, so now users using your system and then you can see the difficulties they are facing there are practical issues and everything so you can enhance your system, right? Because because when QA testing, QA knows how your system works. So it is not the real user feeling. But when the real user work on your system, they you will get user feedback in life. So then uh, you can you can more enhance your system. And last but not least, uh, your management, the, your customer side management, see you're committed for what you did. You're responsible for what you did. You're building a nice PR with them, right? Why? Because it is not something you build something and you leave behind it and then to uh, someone else to give the responsibility of what you build. But you are counting and you're accountable, right? You're responsible and you're accountable. So they, they, they build a nice PR with you so it will benefit to accept your next solution, right? Because when say, okay, uh, when I do a next solution, when, when the customer says, okay, Chris did, ah, okay. Right? It is not that just because of me, you build a solution, you go there with the solution and you stay with them. And when you build the next solution, they have a confidence because they know how you are responsible for what you are doing. So that is a really good PR. That is a key thing to make system success. I get it. Technically, you are not responsible to do it. You can say, now it's a QA's baby, now it's an APS team baby, or so and so, right? Because once you deploy a system to the one you give the system to QA, from there onwards, QAs and BAs are supposed to take your system and go. But you can't get rid of your responsibility, right? Because you build it. So go there, stay with them, and then hand over to the APS team so they will take it over. And so I stayed with them for two weeks, and it's a really good rollout. And we I'm not saying we had zero issues. We had few issues, but all are manageable. So users were confident to use the system because we were there, not only me, and there was a few... Uh, my colleagues was there to support, especially from a consulting side, to uh, like to help them to understand what's going on. Right? I, I I'm not just a, I'm just designing the solution. So there was a team of engineers and uh, business consultants who really make it to the real. So they also were there. So we all of leaving customer today, leaving in the sense um, we are not like get rid of our responsibilities or something like that. But we are not physically going there anymore because. I observe that and I have a few enhancements to do and I'm going to do it in the next from next week onwards. Okay, so that's what I want to tell you. Don't uh, leave your customer uh, when you deploy something. Stay with them for some time. Talk to you later.